Hi everybody, I'm 9 First Warning Meteorologist Brandon Spinner. Hurricane Milton now a Category 5 hurricane just to the north and west of the Yucatan Peninsula by about 100 miles. Upgraded to a Category 5 hurricane at noon Eastern time on Monday, October the 7th. And the issue here is it has rapidly intensified. In fact, it is the third fastest to, to rapidly intensify this from a Cat 2 to a Cat 5. We're right behind Wilma and Felix from 2005 and 2007. Now, this rapidly intensified so quickly, the center of the system, the pressure 925 millibars. That is very, very low, but it was at 975 as of 2 a.m. this morning. So in 10 hours, it dropped 50 millibars, which is an incredible pressure change, and that's why it rapidly intensified, and that's why it's a cat five. As it moves back over the Gulf, it will likely weaken before making landfall near Tampa about 8 o'clock, if not later Wednesday as a category three storm still with the winds at 125 miles per hour near the center. Because it's moving fast enough upon landfall, rain totals won't be as intense as what we saw in some spots from Helene. Doesn't make it any less of an impact anywhere from three to 10 inches of rain for most areas within the path and rain as far south as Key Largo and Key West about three inches. So definitely devastation for the west coast of Florida. Three to six feet of storm surge for those in the yellow. It does look like out towards the Sarasota area. We could see the purples popping up, which would be 12 to 18 feet of storm surge here in the tri state near Cincinnati in the Ohio River Valley. We're going to be dealing with just most clear skies and sunshine. That cold front that came through yesterday drastically dropping our temperatures. We had 86 for a high on Sunday, only looking at a 68 degree high on Monday, and we stay about average through the rest of the week. Warming into the weekend, though, it should be a great week to get any yard work done. That's for sure. A great evening, maybe to cut the grass if you haven't gotten that done here the last couple of days. Overall, beautiful week to get outside. That does include this weekend, except Sunday. P pumpkin patch, apple orchard, whatever it is, Saturday's the day to go. Sunday, a rain chance at 78. Here's a breakdown of your Saturday forecast out there at the pumpkin patch. 10 o'clock, we could have a few clouds through the rest of the day, though, seeing some sunshine peer through. Should be a gorgeous fall-like weekend. Today, down to 68 for a high. Average is 71, so finally below average. Tomorrow, starting out at 44. We call that sweater weather. From there on out, we're looking at a high up to the upper 60s with winds out of the north at 5 to 10 miles per hour. 68, 69, then 72 for Monday, Tuesday, and into Wednesday. Thursday, looking at a high of 70. And as we move on into next weekend, those rain chances will be back with a chance at rain Sunday into Monday. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day.